I'm reviewing FDT's 720 pixels outdoor camera. This is a pan and tilt camera. It can go 360 degrees. And on both sides of it, you can see the IR lights. Now you can access your camera in two different ways, the software that is provided and the application so you can carry it with you on your mobile device. You can use these arrow keys up here on your software or you can swipe with your finger. On the computer it is much faster. This is 360 degrees. You can go um, these preset pan tilts. This one will go vertically and then you have your horizontal so it can go back and forth. Uh, you can set up different presets on how you would like the camera to look and pan with your presets and then you will set it like that. You can record on your application by clicking this little camcorder right here and you can take a snapshot. On here, on the software, it's this video right here and snapshot. Now I don't have an SD card in it right now, that's why it keeps saying it's failing. You can flip your image and how you will do that on the software is you'll end up going to configure and image and then there's your flip and your mirror. You can also control your IR LED and your auto exposure. You do not need to worry about any audio or microphone since this is not compatible with a microphone or speaker. You can adjust your bright, contrast, saturation, um, and you can switch to night and day. I have it on auto. On the software, all of the image settings will be over here. And you can zoom in and zoom out. In the application that's located right here where that little plus sign is. You have your zoom in and zoom out and you can also focus in and focus out. You go to configure and that's where you can set up your wireless network, your DDNS, um, if you have a home security system that you want to connect it to your alarm, the motion detection, where the windows are, and you can adjust the uh, threshold sensitivity. Your alarm link, so you can decide if you want it to send a picture to your email. It can only send a picture to your email, it cannot do video. Um, if you have, if you use an FTP, if you want it to send a video or picture, um, to save to your SD card and you can also do it by your presets. Schedule. You can set up when you want the motion detection to turn itself on and off. And your advanced is auto snap. You can do your timed recording. Um, so if you just want it like at 3 o'clock for an hour you can set it up. Uh, your email your FTP, again, if you have one, you can set it up here. And also multiple settings, so if you have more than one camera that's with FTT, you can set it up here. All of your settings is located on the application here, so you have your motion detection and sensitivity. You cannot change the threshold on the application, you can only do that on the software. But you can adjust the sensitivity. Um, so that's basically the threshold but it's not as detailed so a low setting would be 
Uh, the movement can last, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds um, before it'll trigger. Your alarm link, so this one can actually set push notifications to your phone. Um, again, record to SD card, but you cannot turn on picture to SD card on application. Um, emails to snapshot, again, if you have an FTP server, and how many snapshots per alarm. Um, timed record settings. Uh, audio settings, but you do not need to worry about that. Your video settings here. Uh, Wi-Fi, SD card, email, and the rest of it. Um, the application doesn't have as many details as to configure your camera, so I advise using the PC computer for your initial setup. And then for light adjusting and for viewing, I would use the application. And here is your night vision. And if you can see me, I'm waving. The night vision is spectacular. It's very, very clear on my phone. The camera's trying to focus the best that it can, but I can give you an idea. I hope that this gives you a better idea of the product. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.